special tax was supposed to raise enough money to improve roads, but it never did. Now that special taxing district is being dissolved with nothing to show for it. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock joining us live now in the newsroom with the cost to the taxpayers. Andy. Mike, people shopping in this special taxing district have been paying an extra 1% sales tax for the last several years. But it turns out the money collected has only been able to cover administrative and legal costs. The idea was to raise enough money to build an interchange along the Interstate 49 corridor to make the local hospital more accessible. Upgrading of some frontage roads and bridge construction was also part of the plan. Today, a meeting was held to start dissolving the special taxing district. According to a recent audit by the Missouri State Auditor, the taxing district from January to the end of September was only able to collect $2,194 in taxes. Harrisonville Mayor Brian Hasick is one of the members of that special taxing district board. He says the original idea was to hope new businesses would pop up in the district to help pay the tax. But he says the only business currently paying the tax is the hospital pharmacy. I actually spoke at the board meeting when this was passed and, and kind of objected to the city being involved in it in any way because I didn't think that it was going to be a successful uh, taxing district, which obviously it has not been. Now, because the taxing district wasn't able to raise very much money, Cass County and Harrisonville taxpayers had to cough up again to cover legal expenses. The county and the city each contributed $12,500 for that purpose. Live in the newsroom, I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. Okay.